Jerry, does it say a lot about where your side is that even coming back from 2-0 down, we're frustrated that it might not have been three points today? Massive, yeah, it could have been 4-2 quite easily, couldn't it? So, um, not good enough first half for our standards, lads know that. Um, not, not in regards of effort or application or work rate, just that we didn't, we didn't show enough calmness on the ball. Went a little bit forward a little bit too early for our liking, so... You know, a couple of us spoke about it, a few players' feedback there about not having to attack every time we get the ball. We've done lots of work on it, but a little bit disappointing that off the back of last week we didn't take control of the game early enough. Um, we get done by a really good strike, but we're disappointed where it fell out to the edge of the box. We felt as if we should have really covered that and stopped that happening, but credit to the boy, he's hit a wonderful strike, and um, once he's hit it, it's gone in. Um, so yeah, so so it's a it's a tough start for us at home, and then you've got to find a way. But one thing we know about our group, Matt, is that they're full of character, confidence. Um, they really trust and believe in what we do, we do with them, um, and we know we're going to have a large spell in the game. And um, I think if you look at the second half, we've absolutely dominated the game, deservedly come out with some ink, and we are we are did we are disappointed we haven't won it. I've got to be honest, but we haven't been beaten, and that's key as well. It means that we've stayed we've stayed unbeaten. We've only lost one game here, and one game all season. A wonderful run from the end of last season through to now. Still sat on the top of National League South um, with a wonderful FA Cup tie to look forward to next week. You've spoken a lot about the character of the group this season. Uh, a big moment in the second half with the penalty and 2-0 down. There could have been... Bath City sides of the, of the past may not have recovered from that, but it says a lot about the way that your group is at the minute, that they put their heads up and yeah. straight back in and, and the way they reacted to it. Well, having a deal, i my reaction, having a deal with such a shocker of a decision... Um, now, if that's a penalty, we might as well give up because the, the two defenders have just ushered him out. He's got nowhere to go and he's just fallen over. There's no contact from any point at all. I'm really surprised at the ref because he's in a good position. He's got the he's got the eyesight that I can see as well. So, really been sold on it. It's not a penalty. Um, Ollie almost gets it, actually. He hits it well, but Ollie almost, almost gets it. And then at 2-0, then questions are being asked of us. So, um, you know, we're disappointed we lose Cody to a hamstring strain. He's, he hasn't pulled it. It's just tightened up and locked on him. So... That was a challenge for us then and we had to mix it around a little bit and go to a midfield three. But we meant we could get a bit more aggressive then with Jordan and with Ewan. Um, then Danny Greenstay gets a bad tackle on him and his ankle ligaments are done. His, his ankle is, is swollen right up. Disappointed that foul wasn't given. But the important thing to talk about is the way we just control the game then. We, we passed it, we moved it sideways. The amount of times I'm seeing Ewan get on it then, I'm seeing Jordan get on it. Um, the two fullbacks making a contribution. Elliot, when he's going on high up the pitch, Joe, Joe, Joe Reigns, who we know we probably want a bit more in attacking sense from Joe, and he's, he was great second half, honestly. Real had a real effect on the game. And I thought the two central midfielders, along with Dan Hayfield, then controlled it. So, um, really good from you and his assists. Wonderful from Jordan. He gets a great goal on the far post, which we want from our wide players. And then Scott is there with his little poachers one as well and takes it off of Jordan, I think. But... Um, Really pleased with it. Like I said, it's a it's a point on the on the board again. Um, we're 21 points after 10 games. Wonderful return. Always things to work on, Matt. You're becoming the entertainers really in the league, scoring a lot of yeah. goals. The front four has obviously been fantastic. You lose Cody, which is disappointing at the end of the first half. But how impressed were you with those combinations of of you and Jordan and Scott up top? Brilliant. No, really, really good. And also Dan Hayfield. I've got to say that. So he's been he's been disappointed, a little bit frustrated that he can't get in the side, but because of player form and. He didn't play today because of the system, um, but he's shown what he can do when he goes on. He's involved in the build-up. He's really athletic. He can run beyond at times. Um, and, he's, of course, we know Dan's got a goal in him as well, so I have to give him a special mention as well. But they're exciting, aren't they, these, these wide boys? And what we've got up top, really exciting. We need to, we need to give them a, a bit of a base. What we don't want to do is give teams a two-goal start, obviously. Um, it's just happened the last couple of weeks. Um, and it's something, one of them, we could, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, our fault. The first, the second one, obviously, but the first one we can do something about that, and also building our rhythm a little bit earlier as well. We can't be disappointed to the boys. They've they've gone now ten games, eleven with the FA Cup, played with such confidence, such resilience as well. Really good character in the team, a real clear identity, and in a funny way, the crowd are really upbeat at the end there because you come back and you draw it, and they can see we can almost score another two and should maybe. Scotty has that wonderful chance and we expect him and he expects himself to put it away after another flowing move. But he's done well for us anyway. So, yeah, I'm really pleased. Thanks, thanks for the support. Let's hope again, when these days happen, let's hope that we do get some more of the supporters that were here today um, back. We, it's happened year on, year on. Um, but a wonderful gate, wonderful atmosphere in here today. That's what we want. Um, all united, all together. 
everyone really, really backing the team and supporting us all as a group because they know we're trying to do something special and hopefully everyone recognises that. You said after the Larkhall game and Cody mentioned it as well in his post-match about 10 games in, 10 league games, you can look at it, you can assess it. What is your assessment of these first 10 league games? It's been a fantastic start really from your perspective. Yeah, one of the best starts since I've been here for sure. Um, and I include last year though, Matt, I've got, I'm not really going to look at this in isolation and talk about 10 games because you can talk about the last maybe 10, 12, 15 games from last season. Um, and I saw a stat actually that you guys had, had come up with and spoke about we're on something like 1.92 points per game since we played Larkel in the Somerset Premier Cup. That runs right the way through to now. So near on two points a game puts you in a really good position. But that's all it is. And I'm, I'll come back with the old manager one now and say that's all it is. It's only a start. There's some wonderful teams now starting to hit some rhythms. You can see the West Country teams up in there, which is wonderful to see. I embrace that and really enjoy it. I think it's great. Taunton are having a good season. Yeovil, Mark's now got them going and they're right up on our heels. Obviously, Torquay are going to come strong as well. Um, so, yeah, it's going, to be, it's going to be a wonderful league this year, one to really get excited about and look forward to. Now we turn to the FA Cup. We haven't had a run the FA Cup. That's my fault. That's no one else's fault. I haven't been able to deliver that yet for the, for the supporters and for the football club, more importantly, as well. Um, and we'll, we'll do our utmost as a team to try and do that if we can. Um, so, really tough tie going down to Weymouth. We've had them watch today, but um, one we can really look forward to. And... If you're going to go there at any point, it's not bad going there, top of the National League South, full of confidence, knowing we can score goals. And um, the FA Cup's an exciting thing. We're really looking forward to it. Is there only disappointment today that you've lost? Who's just got signed? Breaking news, that's my phone. <laughs> go on, mate, go for it. Is the only disappointment of today that, that you've lost Cody and Danny? You yeah. touched on their duration of the interviews, um, of the injuries there a little bit, but yeah. also Kieran Parcell and Ben Morgan. What's the situation with all of them? Well, we all know once injuries come on board with us, it will hurt us because we haven't got a big squad and that's not me um, feeling sorry for ourselves or anything like that. That's what we've got. We've got a really good squad, not massive. We've got cover in every area, so just unfortunate at the moment we had two centre-backs out today. Kieran will be okay for next week, for sure. We're hoping Ben will as well, so suddenly we'll get those two back. We'll obviously have to assess Danny Greenslade, see how it settles down. His ankle's swollen. The good news is I think it's an impact one rather than a, a turned ankle, so... I should imagine that will settle down over the next couple of days. He'll do everything he can to try and do that. Um, and Cody is a hamstring. It's not, it's not pulled. That's the good news. We got him off. That was key. We got him off before he felt a strain. So it's just locked up on him a little bit in his words. We don't really know until 48 hours on that one. Um, but that's football and that's going to happen as well. So we've got to deal with that. So when you get challenges, not only on the pitch, when you play against a team like Dover, had some really good individuals, credit to them. Um, it's also when you pick up a couple of injuries and... People are looking at you and trying to knock you off the top, and that's, that's going to happen. So we have to embrace it. We have to enjoy it. Um, enjoy our weekend tonight. All the supporters should enjoy it. I thought they were wonderful today. I have to say that. Sometimes I've been demanding a little bit more off them. They demand a little bit off me, but we're all doing it for the right reasons, that's for sure, because we want to try and win every game if we can. And I have to say they were wonderful today. So I have to thank them all, every single person that was inside the stadium, created a wonderful atmosphere that, that this place can be. And, um, yeah, we'll look forward to going away and hopefully there'll be a few coach loads go down to Weymouth and get behind the boys down there. Well, well done for today and we'll see you at Weymouth. Thanks, Matthew. Cheers, mate.